PowerPoint Choosing the Color Palette Using the power and mood of color in slideware presentations The modern color wheel dates from the time of Sir Isaac Newton. He developed a concept of displaying the color spectrum in the shape of a wheel. These two wheels divide the spectrum into seven and twelve hues, respectively. Colors have positive and negative implications. For example, red is associated with energy or, conversely, aggression. Blue can suggest cool elegance or depressing sadness. Violet is the hue of playful fantasy as well as nightmares and madness. Software developers at Apple base their color picker upon Newton's wheel. Today we can select from more than 12 hues or even 256 color variations. Virtually we can choose from millions of colors. Likewise, Microsoft has developed a series of color pickers over time. This version spreads the spectrum of hues from left to right. In addition, their color picker allows us to create hues as a combination of red, green, and blue. By entering numeric codes that range from 0 to 255, we enter the values of the depth of these colors. Then we can view the result in the box over on the right hand side. The temptation exists in PowerPoint to use as many colors, shapes, textures, special effects, and animation as the program allows. However, let's not go there. Instead, let's focus on selecting a color palette that evokes the power and mood that best fits our presentation. A monochromatic palette consists of a narrow range of hues from the same one-twelfth of the color wheel. For example, this palette from the green side may suggest an earthy, natural feel. Conversely, a palette drawn from the reddish twelfth from the opposite side of the wheel may generate a feeling of strength within the audience. Whereas the monochromatic palettes are narrow in range, analogous palettes widen to encompass a continuous one-fourth of the color wheel. In this example, an analogous palette centered around red may suggest a feeling of power. Conversely, a similar palette from the polar opposite side of the wheel may bring about a feeling of calm within the audience. On the other hand, we can select a palette of complementary colors by selecting a pair of hues from polar opposite points of the wheel, where one pair of complementary hues may be most effective when presenting an athletic theme, a quarter rotation of the wheel produces a pair that may suit a presentation with a feminine quality more effectively. In addition to palettes of complementary pairs, there are those referred to as split complements. In the next two illustrations, the two side colors are taken directly from the adjacent sides of the hue that sits directly across from the middle color in each of these palettes. The green and purple hues across from the orange may give a sense of regality to the presentation. On the other hand, this pair of split complements across from the reddish hue has been used successfully to recreate a retro feel. Our next kind of palette is easier to explain and to understand. The triadic palette consists of hues from equidistant points around the color wheel. 
The color wheel is 360 degrees around. Each of these three hues lie approximately 120 degrees from one another. Now, where a triadic formed around purple may produce an inviting feel for the audience, rotating the wheel by 60 degrees will bring us to the three primary colors with red as the focal tone. This triadic serves us well when we want an air of playfulness or humor. Finally, let's take a look at the most complex of the palettes in this presentation. The tetradic resembles a combination of two split complementary palettes. The two hues on the left sit 60 degrees apart from each other and the two on the right are spaced the same way. However, the two pairs sit as polar opposites to one another on the wheel. In tetradic palettes there is no one central hue. Instead, the specific combinations of four hues suggest a particular spirit, emotion, or quality.